Good afternoon, people. It's Paul, like my beer. Right, this one we've had hanging around for ages. I actually bought the four pack to get the glass, if I recall, from That's Sainsbury's. Right, yeah. We've had this a few times um, before, in Italian restaurants a little while ago. And also out of the big bottle from Tesco's, which I think we still got one here somewhere. But um, it's Carlsberg Group, which is gonna put you off. Um, oh, this one says, Brewed and bottled by Carlsberg, Italy, in Italy. So I honestly don't know. Um, I know it's one of them that people say, like Moretti, you start brewing it here, which we know the Blade Group do. They brew that rubbish in um, wherever it's called. I don't know. I don't know. I can't remember, but you know, it's <laughs> brewed in England and it's not so good. Um, I don't know with this. I thought this was brewed in England. Reading the back of the bottle, it's saying it's not, but. I honestly don't know. It comes out at 5% ABV. This is a 330 mil, so I've got two of them out. Because there's a, you get a nice picture for you. Okay, so there's your bottle. Just to show we care, but I mean, this is not gonna set your world on fire. But overall, from what I remember, it was halfway decent beer. As I say, I haven't had it for a while, if I'm honest. There we go. And no matter what way you, you, you go about it, it's still going to be a, a middle of the road lager. Um, I don't know, the carbonation looks good. It does look good, yeah. Nice nice glass as well, the goblet shape. So there we have it. Great. It's a golden straw like colour. Nice carbonation, nice yeah, head. Really good carbonation coming through. Mm, got some fruity citrusy smells there. A little bit malty as well. Yeah, it's smelling yeah, quite nice. Yeah. It's smelling like a lager though, isn't it? I mean, with ingredients. Water, barley, hops, you know. Um, I can't read the Italian bit. I, d I, d I don't know with this one. I'm really not sure. I thought, as I say, that it was done here now. Um, I say, Carlsberg Group for me are never going to set the world on fire, are they? That's like saying, um, a bit of Moretti is, you know. We all know, um, if you go back three years, when Moretti first based, uh, burst on the scene, really, and got big, it was totally different to what it is now. Yeah, that's, yeah, I would agree with that. Let's give it a go. Yes. Let's see what you think. It is what it is here. It's got a nice carbonation. It's reasonably pleasant tasting. Quite a soft maltiness at the beginning. There's a bit of fruit, a bit of citrus there. Um, a very little. A, a very slight hoppiness to the end. Yeah, it. it's not brilliant, but it's not offensive either. Nice and cold. It's reasonably refreshing. It isn't. Isn't too bad. It's not too good either, though, is it? <laughs> it's, it it's not going to be. You're not going to go. Oh, wow, this is the best thing I've ever this tasted. Is but it's, hops for brewed with four hop varieties. God knows what. Shit hop, more shit hop, and even shit hop. It, it, it's not unpleasant. <sighs> it's average. A little bit on the watery side. Um, it's very thin. Yeah. It's kind of um it's got a thin mouth mouth feel. It's thin bodied. And to me, I think it's piss poor. For for what we're getting on our percentage. Uh, percentage. Five percent. Five percent. Yeah. yeah, I mean I just thought that was lower actually. I'd probably take a can of Cronenberg over it if I'm honest. So there you go, that's my opinion. Um as I say. It, it gets good reviews from people. Um, I don't know if I'm missing something here, but when you can get something like Hasselroder served up on your Perfect Draft Pro, or even go to Punty Gamer on the Blade, don't sound like biased Punty all the time, Gamer. you see. Yeah. Well, now, you you're talking about two big mm. hitters, and you're talking about a very, very average beer. It's, um, yeah, I know what she's saying, it's not offensive, but it's also not great. Um, we got this because I, I, liked it before i must admit although it was a 
a couple of years ago, I can't remember where we were. I think sometimes it's the problem when you get to try so many different beers and you have some really fantastic ones, others just aren't going to make that great. Even though they're perfectly acceptable, perfectly drinkable, and most people are going to enjoy them, nothing offensive about it whatsoever. It just is a little bit watery yeah. and not a it lot of taste. It does a little bit of nice malt as you're drinking it a bit more, but it's not. It's not going to set my world alight. No way, Pedro. You know, um, you can go and get a Polish can of beer down the road for a pound. That's going to beat that. Some of them we've got out the back there to review still. If we can never pronounce them. <laughs> yeah. But it's going to it's going to beat it, and it's a pound for or a pound nine for a five hundred mil can. I mean, you know, you're a regular in the shop. Well, not lately, but <laughs> in times gone by. But do you see what I'm saying? And this is, I know you've got the glass with this pack, but this beer, unless you get it on the Tesco's deal, I think it's about £2 for 500ml. Mm -hmm. Well then, you might as well go on £2.70 for 500ml spat on Oktoberfest. Yeah. You might as well pay an extra 70 pence and get something decent. Mm -hmm. it's, it's gassy as well. It is, it is actually, I'm finding that. Because I'm... I don't burp, <laughs> I, certainly, I certainly wouldn't stand here burping and... A lot of the time, I don't feel the need to, but this one is, is feeling a little bit gassy to me as well. I want to like it. I but, don't dislike it. Well, I've got to go on a no. I can't. It's not as rank as the other beer I drank earlier, but I won't go into that. I can only go on a no. <laughs> I lost mine again. <laughs> you didn't. How did I manage that? I don't know. You oh, tell me. Dear. I can only go on and know. Oh, there it is. <laughs> She's found it again. <laughs> I can only go on and know, and I rate my beer three out of ten. Um, I, I'm not going to give it that low. It's for a standard lager. It's not offensive. Most people are going to be able to drink it. Um, oh, yeah, wow. I, I, I prefer other lagers, but yeah. Longbow. It's okay. A I think, I, lager. I think, it's, it's, it's I think most people. Uh, I'm not going to find that offensive. Most people will be able to drink it. So when it's on offer, I'll buy you a case. I'm going to give it a rate my beer six. Jesus Christ. I don't think it's horrible. I'm, it's just not anything special. I'm actually either. baffled by that score. <laughs> um, remember we just came back from Germany last night and I think that she ain't recovered from the old German taste buds here because a six is I know. like... <sighs> Not everyone is going to try the vast amounts of beer that we've tried, Paul. And when you're just drinking it as a standard lager, there's nothing in there that tastes unpleasant. Yeah, and you'll get somebody saying, you have a point, Paul, but I agree with Michelle. That's just, that's just rubbish. I just, I'm sorry. Think I'll, I'll, if someone picks these up, they're not, they're not going to not enjoy it. It's 5%. Um, yeah, I, I find it a little bit watery tasting, but then again, I've drunk some really good drinks over the past um, week and a half. Listen, I get knocked for drinking Corona. I actually like Corona. But if I put Corona, a bottle of Corona next to that, it's not even close. And Corona's actually weaker. It doesn't taste as watery. It has far more flavour, whether you chuck the bloody lime in it or not. <laughs> that, no, definitely not. I'm being kind giving it a free because I'm in a good mood. But I drank too much of that, I wouldn't be. I can't recommend that. And it's like I say, if you were getting it really cheap, <laughs> then yeah. Give it a go. Most of the time, no, sometimes I agree, but I, I'm just, no, I'll, just, I'll just think you're being a rubbish. little bit harsh. Oh, I'm not harsh. A little harsh. bit harsh. No, you're being a little bit stupid. I'm not <laughs> harsh. <laughs> There's a big difference there. But no, if we all agreed all the same, it'd be pointless watching. I always say, if you watch our reviews, you get two for one. You get yeah, one did. intelligent and one <laughs> not so intelligent. Ooh. Well, it's just a six out of ten. Christ almighty. The next thing you know, you begin with friends kind of... 7 out of 10 and going, well, it's close, I'll be like, <laughs> no, but no, <laughs> you know, we'll agree to disagree on this, shall we say. Indeed. And um, as I say, we, we did a review earlier, I won't mention it because I don't know what time they'll all go up, but after that, if you've classed it with that, then it's class. But there you go, <laughs> it's not always that way, is it? But yeah, what can I say? Thanks for watching, I hope I haven't rattled on too much, but this, nah, piss poor. Bonjour. See you next time.